Hey guys, welcome to another one of our reviews. I'm a worm, this is the Proton. Uh, today we're going to be doing a review of a mechanical mod. Uh, we paid for this one, uh, we received this from Nige or Vapor Saints. Um, obviously, we didn't receive this free charge. We, we paid for it. Penny Winkle. So it's going to be awesomely real. Awesomely real, as it always is. Um, right, guys, what we're doing today mm. is the Turtle Ship clone from Vapor Saints, from Nige. Um, awesome sauce, bosh, bosh. Um, what we're going to do is going to chuck you into a close up. Uh, worms taking, no, I'm taking this one. I'm going to take this one. Um, I'm going to take this one, uh, and then we're going to come back up to us and we're going to do what we usually do. Right, guys, quick little close up of the turtle ship clone from Vapor Saints Nige. Um, obviously, guys, got two of them here one brass, one SS, just to give you an idea of the mix and match. Okay. Um, now they're not available in a two tone, you will have to buy both if you want that look and to be honest I didn't mind buying both so that is what it is, just a little quick close up so you can see what you're getting okay, serial number on this one, very important, 0001 sisters, lovely because Mr Proton is number one um, and then flip it over, you've got your engraving, you'll see what the differences are when you're comparing stainless steel to brass, obviously the SS looks a lot darker okay, um, I think for purposes of reflection we're going to work on the stainless steel one though um, obviously to me it's a two tone, not what I've done is top cap and then switch okay, and switch the well. here you go and this is uh, the all brass if you wanted to see what that looked like um, no problem at all and I think one's grabbing the all silver just or all stainless just now as well is one grabbing the all stainless or has he been a massive <laughs> racist? <laughs> there you go and that's the all stainless so I mean that gives you an idea of what they look like standard and obviously what they look like when you mix them like I have and I have number 10 because I'm going for Prime Minister Fuck number 10 <laughs> <laughs> number 10 for Prime Minister Dingle um, right so as we've gone into it sort of uh, tube there tube there what you have also got with these which is very sloppy of me because I haven't got them here is these these are your kick ring um, there's one brass one stainless as you can see kick ring there also use V500 mode we need to show that though because we run it in 650 so but you do get them included as well so all battery configurations with kick are included with this similar uh, thing as the NEM going into it as we said all battery configurations so you have got two tubes okay so right now that there would be your little 350 dinkle dinkle okay we'll undo the top cap for us there we go undo our top cap and what you've got in there is a floating centre pin. I mean, it's got a screw thread at the top of it, but I haven't found one screw thread. I just it's floating. You just sort of screw it in, and you're able to bring it out as much as it's needed. Uh, and then you uh, tighten it all up. So very simple stuff. A bit of dowering in there to insulate, obviously, all the way across the board. Um, threading's quite fine. You have got a little drip well there, and you also got your air pods there. If you was going to fit something flush, it needed its air feed from the 510. So that's that awesome source covered. Um, it's exactly the same on the SS and the brass. If you wanted to see that, there you go exactly the same um, going in here 350 tube obviously this is one's going to have all your branding on so there you go logos look pretty sick if you ask me uh, and all in the right place lovely stuff I mean look at that it's gorgeousness so let's screw that and that together we've kind of covered that as well 22 mil guys don't know if I mentioned that but yeah 22 mil on this getting down to the bottom into the switch you've got your logo on the bottom of your switch as well obviously that there is on the brass and the SS is there okay so they're, like, they're the same logos just they finish like differently because it's a different material it's been displayed on uh, and then you switch okay go and you switch first of all you've got your vents here for your for your uh, battery venting which comes out the bottom it's bottom vented um so that's awesome source hidden ventilation i like that now you'll notice a bit of darren on top um this is a bit of a weird one okay this here is your battery adjustment, okay, your dowering there, so you bring it up, I mean this thing does come up monumental amounts, I mean you'd make contact there, okay, and you've got a big old bit of dowering there. Um, I have found with the Sony's and EFS we've been using, they're slightly, very slightly smaller than some of the other 650 batteries, that's why I've been running it. Um, if you don't do what I've done and stick an O-ring here, I've found as you sort of got this, you've got your on it, you stick your battery in, and as you tighten it up, the dowering will tighten up down as well, so it means you're going to have battery rattle, so to combat that, I've included a little wiring just under there, um, no biggie, a lot of mods you have to do that with, especially when they're clones, um, and as I say, ventilation there, massive, massive contact, um, big old flat-headed screw <coughs> dingle, as I say, we always tighten the stuff down when we get it, but we'll undo that now, okay, so big old contact down all the way down to the bottom of the switch, we then pull that off, in there you've got a spring, stainless steel spring, and you've got your 
a button mill switch with your screw thread in, which obviously will your positive contact screw screw into, and then fairly simple locking ring. There we go. So if you want to mix and match them, that's I mean that's the only bit on this switch we've changed, but obviously this is the brass switch on the stainless steel mod with the stainless steel locking ring. Um, now even if your switch is up, your ventilation is still going to come out. They haven't included four holes in that like they have in the top here, but you have still got the two in there so it will still vent. Um, Knife did also include a copper spring with this as well as this stainless steel one. Now this stainless steel one does seem slightly bigger, um, I can show you them I believe. If you give us just one sec we'll show you the copper springs, they come with both of the mods. Um, there's the springs, the stainless steel one is definitely fractionally bigger um, and also a lot firmer so if you aren't after a softer press you could use this brass wire, brass wire, copper one but we did find that gave the switch a little bit of a wobble and to be honest with you, the switch my preference was a little bit firmer with this one anyway so to stick her all back together what we'll do is we will stick our locker ring on which Mr. Pro I think he may have had around the wrong way looking at this now guys alright just thinking about it your switch should be up that way, making the contact there because you've got that weld that the gases can travel around. Have it up that way, unless them holes are lined up, you're not going to get it to vent. So, naughty Mr. Proton, go up the right way, all right? If you're going to switch these around, make sure you're allowing it to vent because uh, that would have been bad, wouldn't it? Um, then you've got your uh, bottom of the switch, you have to switch itself. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to poke up our positive contact there, we're then going to slop our spring over that, and then we're going to screw this in. So, standard procedure, just give it a turn until it's uh, spinning. Now, as we said, I always tighten my switches up, especially bottom firers, because they tend to undo over time because I roll my finger over the switch when I'm using it. Uh, and then you've got your dowering. Now, if you're using the smaller battery configurations like we are, then I would recommend maybe, possibly, potentially a little bit using an O-ring because if I stick that on there now, see, you've still got a bit of battery rattle, and that's with the O-ring underneath it. So if I back it off just a touch, We've still got battery rattle. <laughs> Saying that, do you know why that is? Do you know why that is, peeps? That is because I haven't put the atomizer on top, have I? The centre pin's right up at its maximum. Let's have it there. Let's screw her up, there we go. Now we have no battery rattle. Um, that is coming soon, guys, if you're wondering about that. But there you go, nice little bit of firing. There's not really much more to say about this, to be fair. It's a bottom, a bottom firing mech mod. Um, everything else we've got to say, we will do up top right now. So, yeah, back up to us. Alright guys, that was the up close of the uh, Turtle ships uh, from Nige. Obviously you saw Mr. Proton's uh, two-toned version that he's got going on because he's obviously swapped them about with uh, bits and bobs. Uh, you obviously saw my ones that were just uh, the full kind of as they come. So if you want one or the other, you kind of got to sort what they look like as they are standard anyway. Um, yeah. Indeed. Um, right guys, price first of all. 30 quid delivered for each of these Turtle ships. So 60 quid a piece for us because we've got two. Um, I know that Nige would prefer to sell them as sisters. Um, it's not a compulsion, you haven't got to, but definitely a preference. And to be honest, if you're holding both mixed and matched, I'd quite happy buy them as sisters to be honest, you're getting two more for 60 quid, so awesome source. Um, obviously, they are Facebook prices, guys. eBay may be slightly higher, all right, so choose where you want to go. I would I would tap them up through Facebook. We've not had anyone go to our group. There's plenty of guys there who vouch for him. He's a good bloke. Um, so let's start out the way with. Now, Cloney Dingle, yeah, it's a Cloney Dingle, Cloney Dingle, whatever. Done all that, done all um, that, done all that. Um, we did a load test off camera because obviously there was uh, four different ones we got basically going on. We've got the two tones and we've got the as they are standard. Uh, as they are standard, the uh, brass one was about a 0.1 drop off. Uh, the uh, stainless steel one was about 0.18 drop off. And these two are in between both sides. Okay, so you're expecting between a, a 0.1 and a 0.18 drop off. Um, no matter what configuration you've got these in, if you do have both, um, which is more than respectable, especially the brass at point one. That's that seems to be kind of the industry standard for these new mods. They're, they're losing. That's I mean that's a one point five ohm low, so it's not super low, but that gives you a gauge compared to the other mods that we've tested of, of what they're running. So yeah, point one to one point uh, to point one eight uh, drop off under the one point five ohm low that we used to test all of that mods on. Mm -hmm. So there you go. I think that's very respectable. Um, living with them, I mean, we both obviously live with these over the last week, so we can kind of we both all weigh in. Um, for me, the main thing that I can draw from living with this is the battery adjustment. Um, the Dell ring, as you see, I put O rings on it. Now, with certain batteries, that O ring will be spot on. Spot on. Others, you'll still need to bring it up slightly, like the Sony, just slightly smaller than the Mefest, for example. Um, and it's a pain. It is a pain. I mean, this one 
there's still the o-ring and there's still battery right on and that's not through lack of adjustment I'll try to adjust that any which way but Sunday um, realistically needs a reverse threaded bit of dowel in there so that doesn't happen or maybe just a stiffer thread on there so it's a little bit tighter so like when you actually screw it onto the battery it doesn't all, uh, naturally turn when you actually uh, screw in the bottom on Indeed, um, it's just one of them things though guys unfortunately it's going to be dependent on what at you're using on it to how much the pins moved and whatever else so um, but battery rattle can be a little bit of a bitch to adjust um, you see me take the switch apart fairly common sort of switch assembly to be honest with you with the exception of the venting which of course makes sure that locking rings on the right way up otherwise you're blocking them holes and not allowing them to vent which is very stupid of me um, so there you go one more thing on the locker ring as well uh, not so much on my brass one but on my stainless one it's it bites a little bit it's not so much that it's, it's completely undoable but it does uh, mine does tend to bite just slightly so when you do like, open it to be used uh, sometimes because of where the way I roll my finger in that it bites it just a little bit it's just like sometimes when you go to uh, lock the ring back off again you undo the switch as well at the same time which is unfortunate but you, you, you kind of live with that with all kind of mechanical mods where they bite a little bit but a little bit of no locks on there you should be fine so there you go, so if you've got no looks guys, make use of it, if not Vaseline um, <laughs> is always good. Um, and obviously I have much Vaseline. Um, <laughs> right, day one, open the box, look at it, wasn't stupid, stupidly impressed, okay? Gonna be perfectly honest with you guys, we always are. Um, reason being is that the finish was not up to standard. Now I know that Nigel said he'd hoped to get a chance to personally polish these, this is before receiving them, um, but it was a big difference in, in terms of colour. I think we're going to show you now. This is the uh, extension ring. I, po I purposely didn't uh, polish this. This is a for, for the kick and obviously the 500 mode. And this is once it's polished. I mean, you can instantly see the difference. That's how it come. That's after like two polishes. It's, 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 it's a night and day difference. As it a... is definitely night and day difference. Uh, also, um, the the etchings, printings, these are actually graved in, aren't they? Yeah, they're engraved. Um, now, these looked nowhere near as good. They look like they've been sort of if you over splash whatever you want to put it but a few polishes over them rub them over and then you were spot on so by this possibly knowing that you may have to polish I mean Nige may have polished these now he's got a chance these came in and I was like come on Nige <laughs> um, so yeah it was one of them ones we rushed him and that's what we said but you, if you do get one that doesn't look the way you wanted it to the stainless and the brass look miles apart from what they did when we first got them so bear in mind guys it's 30 quid clone all right and they can look the way that you've just seen them it just takes a little bit of brass on five minutes worth of velvet yeah work. I, I want to point out on the brass one it was more that the actual the whole brass mod was the, what it needed to work on the stainless one, it was more kind of like a laser burner kind of around the, mm. the actual engraving. Um, it comes straight off with a bit of brass, I would just get, get a little bit of elbow grease on there, done job. It wouldn't have been as noticeable for me on the brass had it not been the fact that it was different in places, it was slightly patchier in others and so on and so forth. So, I mean, brass patinas, guys, we know this um, through transit, they're going to have been touched. I mean, it could be something as simple as they were gleaming in the factory, they were touched to be put into the bag that was then put in the box, and that's enough for its patina with oxygen, just is. So, um, yeah, just bear that in mind, guys. I looked at it and thought, oh, no, no, uh, but no, it was just a good polish away from spot on. So, yeah, just give them a little polish, guys, and you'll be much more impressed with how they look in general. 22 mil, loving it. Um, yeah, love the 22 mil stuff. It's it's, it's all good, and um, yeah, definitely definitely got a penchant for the 22 millery. Um, so yeah, that's that's also good. I I, I enjoy 22 mil K funds. I mean, this is the uh, AL one, like we say. This isn't ours. This isn't sent through for review. Mine's a K fund. Essentially on top of mine. from a company, but we will be doing a little talk about this. Um, but a lot of 22 mil ones out there. I've got uh, 80s out there now, guys, and it's nice to have. I've got loads of 23s. I've got a few 21s and a couple of 20s, but. 22 or something I was lacking, especially since I shifted off my NEM. So there you go. Um, I mean, in general, other than that, living with a thing, the switch, the switch now, it's bedded in a bit and that spring's taken a bit, it's lovely. I can push it anywhere, get in contact, I mean, even, even if I push it sort of right on the very edge. No issue whatsoever, and the switch is actually really, really nice to use. Um, so that's obviously good. I mean, we was, I'm in an orange to whether the version 2, because this is a version 2, guys, whether it was going to be a magnetic switch, and we hoped it had. This isn't, this is a spring dingle, but doesn't mean that magnets aren't coming. It doesn't mean, I mean, in the day, this is China. I believe that Nigel was expecting magnetic switches as well, so it could be a case of they sent them out because they're shipped. Nigel's going to have a word of them, and we may well we'll have magnets coming. If not, it's not going to be too hard to get magnets for these switches, to be honest with you. They're not massive, they're similar to Qi magnets, I believe. So, yeah, spare in mind, but spring switch, but. The, the press on it's semi firm, it's not yeah, super it, light. It, it, it's not super light, it's not super firm, it's kind of that mid, kind of nice all round. Uh, but uh, in terms of the magnets, I'm 
I'm quite sure if they don't come on this model, um, they'll be somewhere on eBay you can get them or some sort of deal somewhere. There you go, but you did get the extra spring in there guys, so if you did want a softer push, that's available to you using the, uh, the copper spring. But like we did say, Worm tried it in his and it had a bit of a wobble in the switch, which wasn't as much of a fan of. Um, but the, the press on these is, is bang on for me anyway, so that's, that is what it is. Um, yeah. Should we go into a five, five yeah, point we'll, angle? We do a five point at least. All of you guys who know who watch our videos regularly know about this, but if not, we basically go through the ins and out through a five point here, just so we don't really miss anything that we should. Um, but we'll start with our um, always favourite one, looks. There you go. Turtle ship. I was looking at buying a real one of these uh, about two or three months before Christmas, and I swung the other way because we went and done a massive fast take order, basically. Oh, no, the reason you didn't buy it on those is because we oh, weren't yeah. made the money waiting in the bank, and I contacted the seller of the turtle ship and said, how much is shipping to the UK? And we've also just completely ignored. So, um, problem with hiring shit in it, you don't want to sell it to us, we will find a way to have it anyway. That's it, obviously that was from America, and then uh, we had a basket building up on fast take, and we decided we was going that way anyway, so why have one more when you can have 20? <laughs> uh, but that's, by the way, I didn't buy a proper one, but the clone is... It looks exactly the same. It, I mean, once obviously it's been polished up, we got rid of those laser burns, which Nigel's going to be doing for the ones that we didn't rush out because he literally got them in. and said, got them in, we want them. He sent them straight down to us. So thank you for the uh, service and all that. But um, yeah, uh, once they've been polished up, whew, I think they look good as standard like on their own. I think they look good in two-toned. They're just um, a very simplistic kind of look to them. I mean, you've got the engraving. It's not overly prevalent but it is prevalent sort of thing I think it's just got that right amount in there and I think it's a 10 definitely um, I mean as well I just mentioned the graving I was going to jump in there but I've held off um, the engraving now is definitely a lot more subtle that we've got rid of that kind of the burn effect that was going on with it it did just rub off um, but it was just sort of around the it's now a lot more prominent it, it seemed as if it, it was more sloppily done before because they were sort of blending in it's very fine detail on this so a little bit of over even on even one mm. can make it look like a, a mismatch if you like but because of, we've rubbed it all over, got them all polished up, and uh, yeah, spot on now, they really are. So, um, it looks for me, brass, um, stainless steel, a combination of the two. My presence is a combination, worm likes them as they are, um, and I'm definitely going to give them a 10. I think they look fucking awesome. Um, they're very, very good looking, and um, yeah, uh, I think the Stingray is the best looking mod that in my possession at the minute but it is immediately followed very closely by these turtles. Yeah. So there you go, that's personal preference. So guys, you've seen them on camera, you can make up your mind as to how they look. Indeed. Um, usability. It's, it's going to lose a little bit on usability on these ones just because of that adjustment with the dowering. Because um, that you are going to be doing every time you swap your battery out because it does seem to kind of... Or atomizer as well. Or atomizer as well, yeah. Um, you kind of, as you're undoing the switch to actually take your battery out, uh, either by top or bottom, you're inadvertently spinning that dowel at the bottom and um, it takes two or three attempts even with us two or three attempts to get that battery rattle gone and even sometimes with the smaller batteries that we've got doesn't alleviate the rattle at all so it's going to lose a little bit on that but it's a mechanical mod I mean it's, it's still a 9.5 it's just that we wish that dowel ring was either reverse threaded a little bit stiffer or maybe like you can put a couple of O-rings in there to put whatever battery you're using because no doubt you buy one battery, you normally buy several of the same. We seem to buy, we've got like two monkeys, two uh, EFS, two Sonys. We, we kind of try them all because we want to find out which one's best and then put our money there sort of thing. So it's just one of them. So yeah, about 9.5 for that one. There you go. Um, usability for me, yeah, I mean, it is the Darwin, the, 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 dup, 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 dup. the rattle adjustment is the issue with this one. I mean, the contact's got plenty of reach uh, for the positive, loads of reach, in fact, so it's wicked. Um, but the Darwin definitely gets on my nerves um, to adjust the battery rattle, and I, it just needs to be a wee bit stiffer, that's all it needs. Uh, I'm going to come up with some kind of fandangled idea, no doubt, uh, to make sure that it's not a problem. I mean, an O ring, a small O ring under it, definitely help, but it's going to depend on what battery you're using, guys. Somebody, I mean, if you were running the 3400 mile panners, it's probably going to be nowhere near as much of an issue. If anything, adding that O ring would probably be too too much. Maybe so some plumber's table to something to go around the threading. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, that's a good idea actually. Yeah, they did a white plum tape that shrinks into threads so that it'll still be threadable and it'll make them slightly bigger. So if you've got some of that and you want to give it a go, give it a go. Um, but yeah, we'll come up with an idea and obviously we'll keep the pasted, uh, keep you posted via Facebook for that because it's not going to be warranted in a video. Um, other than that, I mean, the switch itself is a little bit stiff for some, I, I might imagine. The main thing I found with the switch is that I tend to, usually I tend to fire a ring finger. With this, I've tend to fire baby. And because it's uh, it's got not a sharp edge, because it's a very, very uh, sort of proud edge, over time that can become a little bit annoying on your finger. But then I will switch to fire like that. And 
all is fine and dandy. So yeah, usability, I'm going to give it a 9 just because a couple of little niggles. Um, but it's not unusable by any stretch of the imagination, it's a very usable mod. Yeah, um, maintenance. Um, there's, obviously there's a spring in this one, but you get a spare with it. Obviously it's a nice uh, brass spring that you get with it, so that's always good. Uh, so you've got two springs, so you haven't really got to worry about getting a spare for it at any point uh, soon anyway. Um, other than that, keep your contacts clean. Charge your battery, I mean, it's the same with all mechanical mods, we go for it time and time again, but it's just a 10 on mechanical mods, it just is. Maintenance, um, yeah, put a battery in, make sure it's charged, keep your contacts clean, that's what you've got to do to maintain a mechanical mod. Now, you've got the brass version and the stainless version, or if you mix them, you've got both. Um, stainless still requires cleaning if you want to look new, this looks much better, like all, our, our brass side this as well, and it looks much better after a brass side, the same as the brass would, so I tend to do them both at the same time. So for me, maintenance is going to be the same. But if you don't want to polish it, you haven't got to. All I will say is though, that give it that initial polish, guys. Give it that one that's going to clean up this engraving. Um, from there, it's, it's as easy as any other mechanical mod. It is a mechanical mod, and it's going to be a 10. If you find polishing and, and cleaning up your mods a pain in the bum, but you still want them to look new and you're going to have to do it, then it's going to be a 9. But um, typically, no, for us, it's a 10. These mods are lovely stuff. Uh, build quality and price. Let's go straight into price, because uh, it's a reasonable price, 30 quid. Yeah, thank you very much. Awesome sauce. 30 grid 10. Um, build quality. Overall, the device is a is a 10. The fact that just it's just that dowering, if it was just a little bit tighter on the threading or reverse threaded, uh, the build quality would be definitely a 10. It's just it's a wavy 10 sort of at the moment, just because of that adjustment you've got to keep constantly doing. Um, this is the only flaw with the device at all. There you go. Build quality and price. Price, as well said, 30 quid. Thank you very much. Yeah, definitely have them. Um, there are some mods available in this country for 30 quid, guys, but all I want to point out is that you ain't going to be as happy with Amazon with this. This thing looks amazing. 22 mil. It's just, it's ticking all of these boxes. The only thing I would say would come close uh, that I could get right now for that money would be probably the NEM clone from Mods and 80s. But even still, um, it's going to cost you slightly more than because of delivery charges. This is 30 quid delivered. Um, so yeah, that's wicked stuff. Really, really like that. And the fact that we were able to get sisters with matching cereals as well. I know that's not part of bill quality and price, but I don't care. I love it. Um, so yeah, I really do. I do. I think, oh, do you know, matching cereals is the bollocks. Yeah, not it things. is. It's, it's, and it's nice to have the low one. I mean, I'm, I'm number one. I mean, I'm the only lumber lighter and this is Nigel's and that's because he's quad zero. But it's just, I like having one on my mod. Just I tell where I'm the one all the time and this proves it. Um, and I had a choice and I went with 10 just because it's zero, zero, one, zero. Just because you can have number one. <laughs> Am the one, um, but build quality and price. Yes, price thirty quid, spot on ten. Build quality, barring that little bit of niggles with the dowel and stuff. And yeah, you can combat that. Let's face it. I don't think I own anything that I haven't had to have a, a little play with, and that includes the K fun. Um, so I'm going to give it a ten for build quality. Like when I say it's a little bit of a wavy ten, but but weigh up that build quality versus that price, more than a ten, every day, all day. Lovely stuff. Yeah, overall, um, like we said, uh, nothing wrong with this mod except for just that dowel in, but that can be easily sorted. I mean, we, we just said about previously, about the plumber's white tape that actually goes into the actual threads and that. I think that will probably sort the issue, uh, depending on if- One layer though, guys, because yeah. that's made to lock threads. Yeah, yeah, uh, just one layer. <laughs> um, other, other fixes we could do for that, um, probably like a couple of O-rings in there, instead of just one if you're using a smaller battery, so it's apparently fixed to your battery size. But, I mean, Overall, that's the only niggle. If that's the only niggle you can find, except for the fact that we had to polish ours up, and Nigel's going to be doing the other ones before they go out anyway. Hopefully, speak to him. Yeah, have a word with him, because obviously if you don't want to do it, then he might just do it for you quickly. Um, I wanted a proper turtle ship. I'm much happier the fact that I paid 60 quid and got two different tones of turtle ship. I love it. I love my twin scoop mods. I mean, I've got loads of. I've got Nemesis, I've got Stingray, I've got Turtles now. 22 mil is where it, it's, it's the most comfortable in my hand. It's the kind of the, the size that I like. You like K funds well, yeah. yeah, so. I love my K fund. I want to get another one, but um, I'm waiting for hopefully a new version to come out. But uh, that's beside the point. Beside the point? Overall, this thing is just um, it's an outstanding little mod. I mean, just you just got to deal with that battery at all adjustment issue. There you go. Overall for me, um, price is good, build quality is good, it looks spectacular. 
they're nice to use. There's a couple of nickels in always is. It's still a 10. Um, it's, 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 it's going to be nothing than a 10. If, this could be shocking on a 30 quid. It's still going to be quite good. Um, but it's not. It's very, very nice. Um, with our batteries, it can be a bit of a pain. Um, but uh, we should bear in mind, though, guys, that this is only 650 we've tried. We haven't run 350-500. We don't do that. And we haven't run 650 kicked either because, obviously, that is an option which you can kick the entire lot. Um, I love that. All these mods are going this way. 22 mil kick a ball, all that. I don't ever use it, but it's nice to have it. So, um, yeah, overall for me, definitely, no shadow of a doubt, a 10. Um, really, really nice mod, both of them. All four of them, in fact, if you want to. We've, we've literally got all four configurations between us now running. Um, and, honestly, I look at it, and I think they're awesome. I'm looking at Willis Brass one over there now. I'm looking at this one. It's just, yeah. Yeah, I'll definitely have a bit of that. I know a lot of our Facebook guys have already got these as well because they were offered to them. At some time they were offered to us as my favouritism. If anybody knows, made us wait an extra day because the Stingrays were coming in and he knew we wanted them. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, nice favouritism, them, you racist. But, um, yeah, no, wicked stuff, wicked stuff. Really, really recommend this one if you haven't already got one that is. Yeah, obviously, uh, a big thanks to uh, Nigel for sending these down at such a, a reasonable price, you know, I mean, more than reasonable anyway, especially the fact that he offers them out as sisters before he offers out singles anyway, which is obviously good. So, the people that wanted two got their sisters of both of them, which is awesome. Yeah, it is. You, 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 don't, yeah. you don't get that anywhere else, really, unless you pay the money for it. He's just offering it out as a courtesy kind of thing, and that's kind of top thumbs for that. I mean, like, who else offers that just off his own back? No one. Yeah, um, so, yeah, uh, love it. Wicked. Um, yeah, obviously, guys, we recommend that you hit up Nige, just particularly through Facebook, because you get the better prices on now. Um, Nige, I mean, Nige is technically a vendor, um, but not so much at the same time. At the minute, there's no official sort of website. He's got some eBay stuff going on, but myself, personally, I consider Nige more of a group buyer um, who puts his money into it and then goes, well, guys, I've got these at this price, and he doesn't make much on this mods car heads. Um, so, yeah, I've got these at this price. Are you interested? And it's either a yes or a no. Um, so, yeah, on that note, guys, um, we are pretty much done. Keep an eye out for the Stingray, um, and you'll know what we mean in about a month's time. Um, yeah, so keep an eye out for that. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Mr. Proton. This has been The Worm, and we will see you soon.